I need to record my review on Mancera Tonka Cola, but I feel so tired, man. Let me do some push ups. Uh, let's go. Two hours later. I think 2,500 push ups are enough, right? Man, but I still feel a little bit tired. I think I'm gonna need some sugar for some extra. Did you really think that I'm going to do that? Not a chance. Not this time. It never happened. It never happened. We made this one up. It's fiction. Jokes aside, if you want to hear nothing but the truth about Mancera Tonka Cola, stick till the end of this video and you will have everything you need to know before you buy this fragrance. Also my personal opinion, everything after the intro. Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. I am Karim, channel name Smell of Truth and thank you so much for passing by. <laughs> Before we start, I would really appreciate if you would subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumb up and comment down below. Have you tried Mancera Tonka Cola? If not, let me know which is your favorite Mancera fragrance. The official notes on Mancera's website are Top notes are Sicilian lemon, nutmeg and cinnamon stick, black cherry. Hard notes are physicola, Indonesian patchouli, orange flowers. Base notes are Brazilian tonga beans, balmy benzoin and lebanon and powdery vanilla. How does it smell? So to me at the top it smells really like lemon. It smells basically like let's say you have a lemon, you cut it in a few pieces and you throw it in a coca-cola glass in a Coca-Cola Zero glass. Then the more it dries down, the more the cherry note comes up and as soon as the cherry note developed, kind of, it reminds you really of Lost Cherry but I haven't compared them side by side so I'm not saying that it smells exactly like it but it definitely reminds you of Lost Cherry. The cherry note unfortunately doesn't last very long. Oh yeah baby! Oh yeah, baby! So you will notice it for around an hour, an hour and a half and then it completely fades away. Later, it smells like a bunch of spices, sweetness, but still you have some cola vibe. So basically the lemon and the cherry disappears and the spices come up. The best how I can describe this fragrance is when you basically take Spice Bomb Extreme, make it smoother, Take away the tobacco and add some cola. This is how the dry down smells to me. Or if you're walking through a Christmas market and you smell all the spices from the gingerbread, from the roasted almonds, these nuts, <laughs> got it. and all the sweet stuff, cinnamon rolls, and all the sweet stuff that they sell at the Christmas market. Nice. That with Coca Cola. I can see this fragrance the best in winter time because it is a really sweet fragrance thanks to the spices that are in here, thanks to the Coca-Cola note and basically also because of the Tonga bean of course. <laughs> Sexy, sweet, yummy! There is a lot of sweetness going on here so I don't think it is really pleasant for spring or summertime. You can definitely wear this in fall time as well, I just think it smells like Christmas. Literally Christmas in a bottle though. If you go clubbing in wintertime, definitely make sure to wear this fragrance. Because whoever is going to smell you, the person you want to attract is going to notice you, first of all. And second of all, definitely wants a bite of you, man. Oh, you want a bite? No, no, no. I will definitely suggest this also for a cozy date night. So I think it is a really pleasant fragrance, actually. The performance of this fragrance is really good. You get a longevity of around 10 hours. You get a good projection for around 5 hours. After that, it is closer to the skin. The sillage is very strong, but I think this is a perfect fragrance to overspray because it wears lighter. When you smell it up close, it is really sweet and all that stuff. If you, if you smell it in the air, it wears lighter. It isn't that sweet, it isn't that intense and all that stuff. It wears lighter and is actually more likable 
in my opinion. That's why I think you can also get away with it in fall or in rainy days for example as well when it is really cold. So in my personal opinion this one is a very likable fragrance. If you like Coca-Cola fragrances or if you can imagine you liking Coca-Cola kind of vibes like for example Roja Enigma. It will get compared to Roja Enigma for sure but it is not the same. It's not a clone of Roja Enigma. It shares some similar vibes, notes, a similar scent but it definitely is not the same. But also if you're like nah maybe this one sounds a bit too sweet but I still would like something that goes in the direction of Roja but is longer lasting. Mm -hmm, I heard that. I wish I didn't hear that but I just heard that. I suggest Signature Tabak from Zaharov. You can grab a 60ml bottle of Mancera on their official website for 75 euros or 120ml for 112 and 50 euros. So 112 euros and 50 cents. Yeah. I think it is a good price. The presentation looks solid. It is nothing really massively special. It's a normal Mancera presentation. You have a magnetic cap. You have a very good automizer, man. Look at this automizer. I, I hope you will able to see that, but let me actually. This is a massive automizer. Fuck! <laughs> I sprayed it on my sandwich. I have my sandwich right here. I'm such a dumbass. At least my sandwich is going to smell like Coca-Cola. <laughs> Sexy, sweet, yummy. Screw it. Oh, yes! Yes! You get a very good performance out of it. The quality is also very good and it is also a very likable scent. Now, the questions of the questions. Is it blind by worthy? So listen to me, I'm gonna be very careful with this one. But if you like how I described it so far and you think, yeah, I normally like sweet fragrances. I also like what Mancera does in general. I like Mancera fragrances in general. You can go for it, but it is still a risk. I mean, it is a very likable fragrance. It is a very good and sweet fragrance and everything, but every blind buy is always risky because maybe this is too sweet for you because I think this one is pretty much unisex. I don't see this going in a masculine or very feminine direction. So if you're, if you're a type of guy that is like, no, I'm an alpha male, I need to wear ombre leather all the time. Maybe don't buy by it. But if you're like, oh yeah, I actually like sweeter fragrances and I don't care if they actually lean a little bit feminine. I think fragrances are an art and art should be enjoyed by everyone. You can try to blind buy it, but it's still your own risk. I don't suggest it, I suggest to try it in a store or try to get a sample first. But if you cannot wait to get a bottle for whatever reason, I think it isn't that risky to blind buy it. This was today's video. If you enjoyed watching, please give this video a thumb up. Comment down below with your favorite Mancera fragrance and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. It will help me massively. Thanks for watching, stay healthy, and see you next time. Bye-bye.